What's up YouTube, CO Serafini here, bringing you another Cube World gameplay commentary. Now today we're going to cover a few different things. We're going to cover gathering resources for weapons and armor, crafting those uh, weapons and armor, and I'm going to teach you how to tame a few pets. I'm going to have a nice little surprise for you at the end as well. So I'm going to get straight to it. I'm a warrior, so for my weapons and armor I need iron. So I look for the nearest hills, I just, you know... Look on my map, look for the biggest hills I can find, biggest mountain ranges, and I go and look for the caves. Now, in the caves, you're going to find all sorts of ores. Like, you've got iron, emeralds, you've got uh, gold, silver. I think there's also other stuff like rubies and other gems, but I'm not too sure about them. I'm pretty sure these emeralds are going to be used for rings and amulets, and same with the silver and, obviously, the gold. Uh, obviously... I'm mainly after the iron, but I collect everything while I'm in here. So it's the same um, same principle for collecting anything pretty much in this game. You beat it down, and then you can pick it up. So, you know, while you're exploring these caves, you're going to find a lot of ore, a lot of bats. It's like it's like playing Pokemon, because it's like there's so many Zubats in a cave in Pokemon, and now there's so many bats in Cube World. It's like... Repels, repel, just, you know, I could really do with some repels, because I fucking hate Zubats. <laughs> They're so annoying. But, yeah, so, the bats are alright, though. They're, they're so easy to kill. And as a warrior, you just, you just rip through them. I imagine it's the same for every class, though. Once you get high enough, they, they become so easy that it's just, you know, a waste of your time. Easy XP. Easy XP. Easy leveling. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to just look through all the caves you can find. Every cave has a little... Um, sorry, every mountain has little caves like this. Go inside. You're going to find loads of ores. Loads of bats. Loads of XP. Everything you need. And... It's good. It's it's a great great little feature added in this game. You know, I, I love crafting. Crafting is a brilliant thing. In this game, it seems to be really useful because you know the I I find the the drop rate on mobs isn't too high, so it, it's it's quite hard to find nice gear. So it's it's nice to have a way to make it yourself, and you know get get yourself kitted out to go and do these big boss battles that are quite hard. Some of them are I found really difficult. I've come up across, uh, I've come across some really big mobs that I just couldn't kill, and even some little ones like raccoons. Like they, they just absolutely rip you apart. Once I level a bit, I'm going to actually kill a raccoon. I'm going to record it, and we're going to have death to raccoons. I might even, might even try and tame one, because they seem like nasty little, nasty bits of work. Right, so I think we've, we've, ga I've shown you enough gathering. It's you know, it's a simple thing. You just gather away so you need to get yourself to a town get yourself to the crafting district and if you're a warrior you want to find yourself this little bit with the furnace so you open up the furnace you've got your cubes there the crafting menu opens up straight away you'll be able to smelt the uh the ore that you found and then come over to the anvil and create whatever you want to make so i'm going to make myself a nice chess piece um, it's going to be a nice big boost to the one I had. And I'm going to make myself a mace with plus 17 power. So that's going to replace my main hand. And I'm going to switch my main hand for my off hand. So I'm now going to be, you know, hitting a bit harder. The mobs aren't going to know what's, what's happening anymore. They're going to be running around like little girls. And I'm just going to generally love life. In future, in a future episode, I will be showing you the customization um, table or bench or whatever it's called. I haven't actually done it yet, but when I do, I will share it with you guys and we will draw something magnificent on our weapons. So uh, now I'm going to teach you how to tame a few pets. So the first one I'm going to show you is an owl. And for an owl, you need a lollipop. I noobishly get out the ginger tartlet by accident. However... You need a lollipop. Now, I found this lollipop from a random mob. I think it was a mole. I seem to find a lot of pet food off of moles. But um, I can't remember exactly. 
I tend to find a lot near dungeons as well. You do you do find a lot of pet food near dungeons. Um, right, so you can name your pet as well if you press enter and then do forward slash name pet and then press space and then name it whatever you want. Like I just called that our Hooters or Hooter. And yeah, so that's a nice little feature as well, naming your pet whatever you want to name it. And you can name it as many times as you want, which is really cool. So yeah, next one I'm going to show you is the Plane Runner. Now for the Plane Runner, you need milk chocolate. So you want to grab yourself some milk chocolate from any enemies you can find. You have a chance of um, having, uh, well, you have one pet food in your general store. And it's different in each world, as far as I know. I had a milk chocolate donut, which uh, is used for moles. Um... But yeah, if not, just kill loads of mobs. You will eventually find some pet food. I promise you. So we've got Peckers now, the plane runner. And I'm building up an army of pets now, guys. I'm going to have an army. The, uh, the last one I'm going to show you is the snout beetle. Now, for the snout beetle, you need a lolly. No, don't get confused with a lollipop. You need a lolly. Um, and it is my first ranged pet, so... It's interesting. I might you might see it in future videos. I apparently has a self healing ability as well. I've read somewhere, so that's quite cool. And I named it Volkswagen, so I now have a Volkswagen Beetle. Right. Now that's a new move I've got there, Cyclone. Now I thought to end it I would show you more dinosaurs and basically another boss battle. Now this one was quite easy. Uh, this was the first boss I found. And he is a white name tag, so, you know, he's lower than my level, so he should be an easy kill. So I'm going to get straight in there and miss straight away, but we're going to just rip him apart anyway. He, his roar cannot intimidate us anymore. We're, we're too, too cool for this. We're going to use the new weapons and armor that we uh, crafted to beat him. And I found that I stunned him quite a lot because he's a lower level, so that's cool. I'm just, you know, applying pressure, applying the damages. I'm going to go for a big hit combo, I think. That's what I'm going for. Oh, cycloning it up. I actually love that move. It's like Bladestorm. It's, it's epic, you know. Everyone's going to want to cyclone it up because it's so cool. You spin around in circles, slashing everything to pieces. What's better than that? Knocked him down again, and I'm just getting straight in there. I'm on a 57 hit combo at the moment. Let's see if we can get that past the hundreds. I reckon we can. I reckon we can. Stunned again. If we keep stunning him, this is going to be an easy fight. I think this, this one looks better than the last one we fought. I think he looks, you know, looks pretty nice. Very nice little dinosaur. And we're on a 112 hit combo. We're, we're literally ripping him to pieces. He's on about half health. And as you can see, the, the higher my hit combo, the quicker I'm hitting, the more I'm hitting, the more damage I'm dealing. It's, it's really good. Like 160, and I'm cycloning him to pieces. At 25 there. It's, it's brilliant. That's what I love about warriors. The more you hit them, the stronger you become. He's on about a quarter health. I'm almost on a 200 hit combo. That's crazy. That's uh, I'm actually on a 200 hit combo. That is actually crazy. Let's keep this up. Let's keep it going. Let's let's keep slicing him to pieces. I think I missed. Oh, I missed. My hit combo has been reset. I'm gonna have to drink a potion. Just make sure that you know I'm not gonna die by this guy. Um, we're going to restart this hit combo and finish him off. Knock him over again. And I think we're nearly there. Yeah, there we go. Quest complete. Look at all the blocks. I love that. I love when mobs die and the blocks explode. It's brilliant. So, yeah, I got quite a lot of XP for that. So, it's, you know, a brilliant way to level. I'm just going to uh, rest up, restore the last bit of my, uh, my health. And... Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure to check out the next episode. It's going to be a good one. Peace.